What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, yeah, 80 hidden features that you could do on your new Apple Watch or current Apple Watch if you are a current Apple Watch owner. Now, 80 is a large number, so I wouldn't really be surprised as this is gonna be every single hidden feature available for watchOS 6. But sit back, relax, cause this may be a long one. And let's go ahead and start this countdown. Double tapping the power button if you have it set up will actually launch your Apple Pay. And you can also swipe two different cards. By tapping this digital crown will not only take you home, but if you double tap again, it will switch between two previously open apps. By holding the power button and the digital crown at the same time will enable a screenshot and we'll send that screenshot to your cell phone's camera roll. The settings on the bottom of the screen is how you can enable screenshot in case you don't have that enabled. In case your Apple Watch is acting funny, by holding down the digital crown and the power button at the same time, for a couple of seconds, we'll hard reset your Apple Watch. If you saw that black box, that was not supposed to happen. That was a weird glitch that we just captured. If there's an app that's acting funny, by holding the power button, followed by the digital crown, it will hard reset the application. To move applications on the grid, simply hold down on the app and you can move it and rearrange it however you like. And if you want to delete even certain stock apps, tap on the X icon, hit delete. If you're not a fan of this honeycomb view, you could force press and you can switch to the list view, which will alphabetically list all your apps. You can also slide to delete certain apps as well. Both your notification tab and your control center can be popped up anywhere on any application by simply holding down by holding on the corners of the top or bottom part of the screen and you can pull them like so. To remove all your notifications, just force press and clear all right here. And don't worry about my mother. If you want to change the weather default location, you have to go on your iPhone, Apple Watch app, go to its weather tab and right here, you're able to change and switch between different cities. By tapping on the watch face, you can switch between different settings or you can force press to get access to all of those as well as remove the location. Back in control center, if you go all the way down, you could actually edit and move these widgets around to your liking. If you're having a hard time finding your phone, by tapping on this, it will not only pin your phone, but if you press and hold, it will toggle the flash so you can locate it faster. If you launch the Find My app and you toggle Locate Apple Watch, it will actually utilize this LED flash, so it will not only play sound, but it will also flash the green LED from the heart rate sensor. The flashlight toggle not only gets really bright whenever you face your watch away from you, but if you switch, you get different modes like strobe or a solid red color to be located faster. If you feel that the haptic feedback motor is not strong enough, you can increase it by switching to the prominent, which you can follow the text underneath to follow how to get to this setting. If you wanna offset your watch timer that doesn't affect your iPhone, if you go into your settings, go into clock, you gotta adjust it the minutes that you want, hit set, and now our time is adjusted and it doesn't affect our iPhone. So our watch will always let us be at least five minutes advanced. Also in the clock settings, you can enable chimes, which you can change from bells to birds. So every time on the hour, we'll play sounds of bells or birds on the hour. And if left on silent, it'll give you a haptic feedback. Siri can also launch your Apple Watch apps so you don't have to search for them. You can also ask Siri to launch URLs, so like google.com. Google.com. Here's what I found. And you can use this trick to browse the web. If you wanna verbally dismiss Siri, just say never mind. If you wanna change your smart replies, you can only do it on the Apple Watch app on your iPhone by going into messages, default replies, and go down to add a reply. When using these animated replies, by holding down with one finger, we'll reply with a fireball effect. Two fingers will enable the heartbeat pulse. Then one finger, you'll be able to doodle or draw on the display. This little icon right here in the corner allows you to switch between these colors or you can press and hold and rotate with digital crown to find that exact color you're looking for. By 3D pressing, here you unlock new tools. You can also send your location, choose a language, or check the details if you want to email or walkie talkie them. If you want to react to their previous message by tapping and holding anywhere on the icon, you have access to these icons. If you wish to see the timeline, just slide like so. By paying with Apple Pay, you can actually use the digital crown to adjust the money amount you wanna pay. When using the dictation to send a message, if you tap the screen, it will quickly send the message right away. Back on the Apple Watch app on your phone, if you go down to messages, here you can actually change the transcript to audio or transcript or audio. No matter what page or what app you are in, if you tap the top part, it will automatically always take you all the way back on top. If you want to do handoff mode to continue where you last left off on your Apple Watch, but to your iPhone, by unlocking your iPhone and opening up multitask, down here, you tap on this, 
it'll take you exactly where you last left off on your Apple Watch. When receiving a phone call on your Apple Watch, just cover it. It'll set it to silent across all your other Apple devices. If you receive a notification or a phone call and your Apple Watch is left unsilent, as soon as your watch rings, when you cover it up and you continue holding it for a few seconds, it's gonna give you a heptic feedback. And if you look back, it automatically switch your Apple Watch to silent, as long as you have the setting underneath enabled. By rotating the digital crown, you can actually take a quick peek of the watch face. If you're paired and listening to headphones that have active noise cancellation or in transparency mode, by going down here, you can actually switch between those different modes. Siri can also switch between those two different modes if you say switch to transparency mode. If you're not a fan of the list view that the calendar app gives you for a day, you could 3D press and you get more options like list. This Earth's watch face actually has three different watch faces. So not only does it give you a globe look, but you can actually rotate the digital crown to see how the Earth will look like in the future. But if we go in and customize this watch face, you can change it to the moon or the solar system. If you change it to the solar system and you tap on the screen, it will line up all the planets like so. If you own a Nike Watch Edition Apple Watch, the Nike Watch Faces, if you tap on the Nike logo, it secretly is a shortcut to the Nike Club app. The watch faces listed on the bottom, these watch faces actually support a monogram, which allows you to change the text to anything that you like, which you can find by going on the Apple Watch Watch app, go down to clock, go down to monogram, and here's where you can add some text. If you want to know how I did that, you can watch the video in the corner where I show how to do those funny emoji texts. So just like the Earth, both solar digital and solar graph will allow you to see exactly when sunset will take place or sunrise with a timer on the bottom. Now the kaleidoscope watch face actually has new unique looks. If you change it to radial and any of the mirror one, two, three by rotating the digital crown, you get these unique looking design watch faces. A two finger tap on the watch face will verbally let Siri tell you the time. 11.36 a.m. If you do this to the Mickey Mouse or the Minnie Mouse watch face by doing the same thing, it's 11.36. Both Mickey or Minnie will tell you the time with their voice. If you want to rearrange these certain Apple watches, you could do this. You may also do the exact same thing on your iPhone. If you want to transfer the call that you picked up on your Apple Watch, you can just pick up that device and just go to the green icon. It will automatically switch and you can do this by versa. If you're typing up a number on the keypad, you can actually swipe to go back in case you messed up instead of hitting this red arrow on the corner. By launching the camera app, it will automatically launch the camera app on your phone. And if you have an iPhone that has an ultra wide lens, by zooming out, you have access to all those three lens. By force pressing, you'll also unlock new tools so you can flip the camera as well. Unfortunately, if you wanna switch from photos to video, you have to manually go on your phone and do it manually here, but it will adapt and show you that right here on the display on your Apple Watch. By force pressing, you also get additional options. Whenever you see a red dot on top of the screen, that means you have notifications. If it's showing yellow like this one, that means the walkie talkie app is enabled. Arrow icon, that means you're following directions on maps. The green is indicating call. The moon, do not disturb. This is airplane mode. Audio means audio controls are enabled. You're playing audio somewhere. And the workout means the exercising app is currently running. And by tapping it, it will automatically take you to that application. If you don't want your Apple Watch to mimic whenever you enabled airplane mode or do not disturb mode, back in the Apple Watch app, if you go into general and you select either do not disturb or airplane mode, here you can actually disable mirror iPhone. You can do it on both of them. You have to individually do this on those two different modes. On the Apple Watch app, if you go to the music tab, by tapping the plus icon, by selecting playlist music or other genres, you click on the playlist, tap the plus, and then that playlist is gonna be installed on the internal storage of the Apple Watch. So you don't have to have your iPhone nearby if you wanna to listen to that playlist. If you find the text to be too small on the Apple Watch by going into the settings, go to the display and brightness. Down here, you can actually adjust the text size. If you're low on batteries and you wanna preserve as much battery as possible by going into your control center, go down to the percentage battery. Right here, if you slide, this will enable power reserve mode. If you proceed, your Apple Watch will now only be able to tell you the time. And if you wanna get off this mode, simply just hold down the power button until the Apple logo reboots itself. Also in the battery life percentage tab is where you can see the paired headphones battery life percentage as well. When measuring your heart rate, if your Apple Watch is equipped with the ECG sensor, by tapping and holding on the digital crown, it will accelerate the measurement speed. So now it's doing it by every second. When you start a workout, you can bypass the timer by tapping on the screen. Unless you're older than 65, 
Fall detection has to be manually enabled by just going into your settings to go to the SOS tab and enable it right here. And on top of that, you can also enable the side button to also be able to slide to call SOS. So if you hold the power button and continue holding, there's a five second timer you could automatically enable by holding it down for five seconds as you just saw. And then if fall detection or SOS is triggered, your Apple Watch will not only get a hold of emergency dispatchers, but will also contact everybody on your emergency contact list by sending them an exact location that gets automatically updated by the second. Back in the Apple Watch app, if you go to general and go into the do not disturb, you can enable workout do not disturb. So now whenever you start a workout, your Apple Watch is gonna be set to do not disturb. If you wanna increase the duration of the Apple Watch when it's awake, when you tap on it, you could do so. By going into the settings in general, go down to watch screen. Here you could tap 70 seconds instead. If you don't like to constantly be asked to enter a passcode whenever you put on your Apple Watch, by going in your Apple Watch settings and going to the passcode section, here you can actually have it enabled so that your Apple Watch gets unlocked whenever your iPhone is unlocked while you're wearing it. You can swap the multitasking dock from reason to favorites by simply going in your Apple Watch app, go into docks, and you can select favorites. And by tapping edit, you can add it like so and rearrange it however you like. If you want your on-screen notifications on your Apple Watch to hide sensitive information, if you go into the notification tab, you can enable notification privacy. If you have an always on display series five Apple Watch, and if you have some sensitive complications like appointment meeting stuff you wanna hide from the watch face, if you go on display, tap on always on, and right here, you can enable it so it hides sensitive complications. And this also includes your activity. So when I cover this, the information down here is blank. I'm sure we all agree the breathe reminder can be annoying. So if you go here into the breathe app, you could turn it off entirely. When you dock your Apple Watch to charge by tapping on the lightning, it will actually show you the exact battery life percentage instead. With nightstand mode enabled, whenever you set your Apple Watch down sideways like so, it will actually display the time. And if you tap on the surface or any small movement, it will automatically wake up the screen. When checking your emails on your Apple Watch, if you 3D press, you could flag them right here or trash them. Or you could also slide to flag, trash, or archive. And if you don't like having all these different mailing options over here on your Apple Watch, you could also edit it. If you go all the way down, you could check mark the ones that you want and don't want. Inside the new calculator app, you could 3D press to switch between percentage or the tip function. And by entering a number and you tap tip, you can use the digital crown to divide it between how many people you have. And if you're ready to unpair your Apple Watch, go into the settings, general, go all the way down to reset, and erase all contacts and settings, and just follow through. You no longer have to go on your iPhone to unpair it. And there we have it folks, holy cow, that was truly a long list. I really do need more coffee after that. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, get subscribed. I normally don't ask for these, but this video did took me a long time to make. So if you can, I'll greatly appreciate it. But again, you don't have to. I really don't like forcing or begging for those type of things. Guys, if you enjoy, go ahead and watch this video as I pretty much cover my favorite accessories for the Apple Watch. You may find some that you might like in that video. And then this video over here, that has a video that YouTube thinks that you will like. Feel free to watch either or. Again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.